Well, good morning, everybody. So, I know this video is late in coming. My computer is messing up. <laughs> so, but I haven't exercised for quite a while. My knee's been messing up. Went and got some shots. And uh, this knee is just really, really good. This one's still having a little bit of issues. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and exercise and continue with where we were at last time. I told you we were going to be working with weights. <clears throat> So that's what we're going to do. So I hope that you guys uh, went back and looked at the other videos to keep yourself up to where you could do this point. So let's get started. We've got to do a little praise first, right? Don't forget that. And just get your weights and do something. Just move as you sing. My weights are three pounds. This is the day that the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord hath made. So clap your hands. Everybody clap your hands. So clap your hands. Why? Because this is the day that the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord hath made. <laughs> All right. Thank you for doing that with me. Okay. So sit up real tall. Whether you're in a kitchen chair, a bench, or your recliner, and we're going to do some breathing exercises. Breathe in real deep as far as you can and blow it out. We're going to be doing that five times. Hold it in between as long as you can, anywhere from three to five seconds if you can. A good exercise to do when you're just sitting around the house or whatever is to breathe in real deep and try to hold it for 15 seconds. <clears throat> but we're just going to be doing three to five. So we're going to do five of them. Are you ready? Breathe in. There's a lot of respiratory uh, crud going around right now, so we've got to keep our lungs and our breathing up to par. And these exercises, they're not going to hurt you. All right. Touch your toes. Let's do 10 of those. <clears throat> so if you're in a recliner, just get comfortable and sit back so that you can, you know, be able to touch your toes. Go down as far as you can. I think I could actually meet my toes by the time we're done, but I won't be able to at first. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm going to be using my weights. So let's do 10. Ready? Set up straight. Arms up. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, don't forget to breathe, seven, eight, nine, ten, very good. All right, let's see what else we got here. Arm curls with the front tap, stretch, front tap. Okay, it's kind of like the, the ears, nose thing that we've been doing. Okay, so I'll do one so you can see. Front tap. I already forgot. 
<laughs> okay, let's just do ear nose thing, okay? All right. So we do nose, ear, tap, stretch, tap, and back. Okay. Ready? Nose, ear, tap, stretch, tap, back. Okay. Now I think I have it in my head. My head's been a little foggy. <laughs> so we don't have to do the nose thing. So what I want you to do is start out right here. Okay. And then swing open wide. Come back to the front. And then come back to your chest. Okay. Let's do that. Let's do 10. Open wide. Straight out. Back to the chest. One. Open wide. Straight out front and back to the chest. Two. Wide. Out front. Chest. Three. Wide. Out front. Chest. Four. And if your weights get too heavy on you, put them suckers down and just do it with the air. Stretch. Front. Chest. Wide front chest that's five wide front chest six wide front chest seven wide front chest eight wide front chest nine wide front chest 10. Whew. That builds up some a little bit of sweat, didn't it? Okay. Jumping jacks. Okay, we're going to try the jumping jacks with the weights if you can. And uh, we're going to do them setting down. And then if you can, uh, we're going to try to stand up and do a couple of them, okay? But for right now, we're just going to sit. Let's try 10 of them with the weights. So if you forgot how to do them, if you're in your recliner, scoot up to the end of your recliner and you're basically just going to be doing a jumping jack. So be like out, in, out, in. And of course you, your arms will go up too. All right. So you ready? Let's do 10. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I don't think I'm going to stand up and do mine today. Uh, yeah, that'll do. Okay. I might have to upload this without editing anything. <laughs> okay. March and side arm curls. Okay. So you can march in your seat or you can stand up. I think I'm going to stand up for those. Okay. And then we're just doing arm curls with it. Like this. Okay. So if you're ready, let's do to the count of 20. If I can keep count. <laughs> One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay. Now it wasn't twenty arm curls; it was twenty marches. <laughs> okay. Heel tap with the arm curl. Okay. So we're going to be we're working our legs and our arms today. But like I said, you need to put them weights down, put them down. So you're going to set up your chair and just tap your heel. Okay, we're going to do 10 of those with the arm curls. Okay? All right. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew, very good. I'm telling you, just adding a little extra weight to your exercise makes a big difference. Chicken lift, elbow lift. Let's see if I remember how to do those. <laughs> okay, so when you act like a chicken, you go like this. Okay. All right, so we're gonna get do ten of those. Just hold your weights up, chest level. Okay. Keep them in place, but just bring your arms up like that. And this will, well, you can see what it's doing, right? Okay, so let's do 10 of those. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, work those shoulders. All right, I'm gonna put my weights down. So now we're gonna do curls on our shoulders to kind of relax those a little bit after that. So let's do five towards the front and five towards the back. I'll show you. Just big round curls. Okay, that's front. That's back. And if you're like me, you can kind of hear a little crackling going on. Okay, let's do five to the front. Don't forget to breathe, you guys. Now backwards. Very good. We're going to do finger taps and then we're going to do our deep breathing and we'll be done. Okay, so hold your hands up like this. Those of you that are new joining us, finger taps are just um, tapping your finger to your thumb. Okay, just like that. Okay, so let's do 15 of those together. One, two, three, Four, and really stretch those fingers out, okay? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And you guys notice the subtle differences that you're having within your yourself. Those, uh, like, I didn't have to look at my fingers to figure out because I, the more you do something, the better you'll get at it. And you can see improvement, and that's an improvement. Count it. <laughs> Any little thing that you do that is an improvement, count it. All right, we're going to deep breathe. And if you'd like to roll your shoulders again, that felt really good to me, so I'm going to do that. So let's do that to the count of five, and be sure and hold your breath, if you can, for five seconds, and then blow it out. Okay, ready? All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. 
on uh, this day of exercising. And as I was looking for my little book trying to find where I was at on my regiment, I came across a, a, a little study that I did. So I'm just going to read that to you real quick. It won't take very long. It's from Philippians 4, uh, verses 6 and 7. And I entitled it, What If? <laughs> what if your day was filled with peace every minute, every second? What if you opened your eyes to a brand new day and was just truly thankful? And so full of peace that not even yourself could understand it. It sounds amazing, doesn't it? What would happen if today I start thanking Jesus for every little thing, everything? The flower I see as I was sitting and doing this Bible study, the ugly toes as I look down at my feet, the orange that's sitting over there waiting to be peeled and eaten, the sad eyes of a friend, and being able to share God's word and blessing with them. Believe that all is in God's hands. Do you do that? Do you believe that everything, all, is in God's hands? That's where that peace comes from. Thank you guys. Until next time and Hopefully I can get this downloaded and be able to uh, get some other videos uploaded, downloaded, uploaded, however that goes. <laughs> Until next time, keep rewinding those videos on the exercises, you guys, and find something that will work for you. All right.